Welcome to the Indian Army 2023 exam day video. Hi, my name is Nisha and I will be your guide in this video. I am here to give you a better understanding of how to appear for the common entrance exam for recruitment in the Indian Army. Let us begin our journey. Admit card life link will be published approximately two weeks before the scheduled date of start of online CE on joinindianarmy.nic.in website. You will also be intimated the same through email and SMS on your registered email ID and telephone number. You should download and print your admit card from the given link on Join Indian Army website. Print the admit card on an A4 sized paper. Using a laser printer, you must check your admit card for your details such as Exam center name, date and shift details. Exam center address, documents you need to carry on the exam day. Admit card instructions must be read in detail by all candidates. You have to make your own arrangements for travel and accommodation. The entry to the exam center will be open one and half hours before and close 30 minutes before the scheduled time of examination. Candidates arriving late will not be allowed inside the exam center and will be barred from appearing for the exam. Once you arrive at the exam center, your admit card and photo ID will be checked. You have to deposit your personal belongings such as mobile phone, bag etc. at the entry gate at your own risk. Do's Candidate will come on exam day with only transparent pen, transparent water bottle, original ID card and admit card. Don't Candidate not allowed with electronic gadgets and jewelry items. The process of candidate frisking will be carried out by the frisking staff. After the frisking, you will be allotted your exam hall at the barcode scanning desk. At the barcode scanning desk, you will show your admit card and original ID. Scanning manager will provide you exam hall number. On reaching your exam hall, your documents, that is, your ID card and admit card, will be checked at the entrance. The document verification will be done at this point. After the document verification at the hall entrance, then you will proceed to the registration desk. At the registration desk, you will show your admit card and original ID to the registration manager. Registration manager will capture your photo and fingerprint. Please ensure you clean your fingers properly and are properly turned out for photograph as the same biometric will be used during next phase of recruiting. After that registration manager will assign you seat number and note down your seat number on the admit card. Then you will proceed to the assigned seat along with admit card and original ID. A paragraph will be shown on the computer screen. You will be required to write the same in your handwriting and sign in the allotted space on the admit card. The invigilator will read out the instructions before the test begins. You need to write your name and roll number on the rough sheet. Use the mouse to mark the answers. Do not disturb other candidates. Then, the invigilator will inform you to log in to the test screen. You can use the keyboard to log in. You can also use the virtual keyboard by clicking the keyboard icon on the screen. The username and password for logging in will be provided to the candidates 10 minutes before scheduled time for start of the examination. After logging in, verify your profile information. If your details are correct, click I confirm to proceed. The next screen will display your test related instructions. Read the instructions carefully and click next to proceed. Finally, you will need to read and agree to the declaration by selecting the checkbox. Choose your default language from drop-down list, Hindi or English. You may also change language during examination based on your convenience by clicking the language button on right top corner of the screen. At the scheduled time of examination, the I am ready to begin link will be enabled. Click the link to proceed. It may be understood that after logging in, once the test starts, only the computer mouse must be used for answering the questions. Use of the keyboard will lock the system. Now you can start submitting the answers using the mouse. As you begin a timer indicating the time left for the exam will be displayed on the screen. Note: If the timer stops due to any disruption during the exam, you will not lose the exam duration time. A panel on the right-hand side will display the status of attempted questions in four colors that indicate the following. Green. Answered questions. Red. Questions seen but neither answered nor marked for review. White. Questions not seen as yet. Purple. Questions marked for review but not answered. Purple with a green tick mark as superscript questions answered but marked for review. For navigation between questions. 
Click on the question number in the question palette to go to that question directly. Click on save and next to save your answer for the current question and then go to the next question. The question answered and marked for review status for a question indicates that candidate would like to have a relook at that question again. A candidate has the option of answering a question and simultaneously marked for review. These answers will be considered for evaluation. However, if a candidate has simply put marked for review for a question without answering it, the corresponding question marked for review without an answer will not be considered for evaluation. Note. It may be noted that a candidate can return to any marked for review question anytime during the examination by clicking on the corresponding question number icon displayed on the question palette of the respective section. To select your answer, click on the button of one of the options. To deselect your chosen answer, click on the button of the chosen option again or click on the clear response button. To change your chosen answer, click on the button of another option. To save your answer, you must click on the save and next button. Caution, note that if you navigate to another question directly by clicking on its question number, without saving the answer your answer for the current question will not be saved. You can also view other details such as Question paper. You can view all the section wise questions in the test. Profile exclamation mark. You can view your profile information. Instructions. You can click on view instruction for exam related instructions page. Read the instructions carefully. After the exam time is over, all the answers will be auto-submitted. After completion of exam, you have to complete exit verification process on verification desk. You will be called one by one to the verification desk, where your photo and thumb impression will again be captured and verified. Please move back to your allotted seat after the verification. Once the verification of all candidates in the hall is over, you need to return all the rough sheets and pen or pencil to the invigilator. Make sure that you have written your name and roll number on the rough sheets. You will thereafter be asked to move out of the exam hall in an orderly manner. With this, you have successfully viewed the Join Indian Army 2023 exam day video. I hope you have found this video useful and will help you prepare better for the online CE. To help you practice in appearing in the exam, links for practice tests for all categories of recruitment have been hosted on joinindianarmy.nic.in website. All candidates are advised to log into the Join Indian Army website and practice the procedure for appearing in the online CE. Wish you all the best. Thank you and Jai Hind.